Yeah. Morning. Morning. Good morning. How's everyone Happy doing? Good time. Good. I like how Betsy and I have mugs and you have a cup. What are you drinking? I mean, it's it's definitely not tequila. Not not today. I am. I had a Celsius for the first time. Oh God. And I was up to four. Thir- I think I knocked out finally at five in the morning. So I'm only on three hours of sleep. But here I am. There's some, um, what is this? Like liquid IV in here. Got it. <clears throat> some electrolytes. Yeah. But I'm here. We're doing this. Good morning. Ben, are you having tea, coffee? No, like- coffee. I'm actually having coffee today. I haven't. I've been for a while now. I've been trying to lean off of coffee, though I kind of picked it back up. When I went to Puerto Rico in August and in October last year. So, you know, when you're in the in the Caribbean, cafecitos like what you start your day with. So And it's cold. You know, we're in New York. Yes. The yeah. area. It's cold and coffee hits very different when it's winter and you know, in you in the morning, the first cup of coffee hits different. It, it does. Right? There's this thing I like to do, especially now where like it's kind of brisky, kind of cold, but the sun is out. I like to take my co- my hot coffee and stand outside in the backyard and just let the sun hit my mm-hmm. face while That's I drink it. <laughs> uh, the beauties of being an adult, I guess. Did you drink coffee when you were a child? No. 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 <laughs> Billy, did I you? I did and I didn't. It was like if my grandma would give me coffee, but right. not necessarily... I drank it like I enjoyed yeah. it. I started enjoying coffee in my late twenties. Okay, and Billy, yeah. did you drink coffee when you were young? I don't think so. I yeah, I know that sometimes, like I'm not, I don't want to generalize and say Hispanic families, but sometimes they do. I mean, at one point, my mom used to like give my dog coffee, and I'm just like, uh, he can't have coffee. Um, cause <laughs> she would she would dip the bread inside her coffee. And then she and was just like, time. she's like, look how happy he is. And I'm just like, uh, no, <laughs> he'll be happy if he eats anything. So maybe wow. she gave me coffee, but I don't think so. And I really didn't drink coffee in high school. You guys remember I went to Starbucks and mm-hmm. I would order the caramel apple cider. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I yeah. started drinking coffee. I don't know. In my late twenties, maybe. And I really don't drink coffee. Co- like I always, it has to be like sugared up because if not, I get the shakes. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. I mean, I think I started drinking coffee at an early age. I think I'm going to say yes. And I think, Billy, you can generalize, say maybe Hispanics, because I do take polls in my class and the kids know that I drink coffee and I'm like, who drinks coffee here? And usually the hands that are Hispanics, Mm -hmm. they're the ones that are like, I have tried coffee or I drink coffee. Um, And then the other ones are like, no, we don't know. That's mommy's drink or daddy's drink. But just the first cup of coffee in the day. It's different. And I love that about being an adult, right? Yeah. Yes. It's okay to have coffee now as an adult. As a kid, I don't know. Like, there was this big controversy as controversialness when I was growing up. Like, my mom would say, no, she can't have coffee. And my grandmother would be like, pero un cafecito para que se levante, tú sabes. Which means, you know, for her to wake up, for her to have energy. It, it triggers the brain is what my great-grandmother used to say. I keep calling her my grandmother, but she technically was my great-grandmother. Um, she would say it triggers the brain. That's how it gets her brain active. And as I got older and they tried to do the same thing with my kids, I was like, do you know that triggers a child running around like a crazy maniac? No, I'm okay. Thanks. <laughs> the show, yeah. I'm, we, I'm not like if I ever see uh, an adult giving kids coffee, I'm like, that's not the best choice because, you know, yeah. caffeine. I know how I feel when I'm on caffeine. I can't even imagine like a little kid feeling that way. I just don't think it's good for their system, you know? Yeah. Um, well, is this episode about coffee or is it about adulting? <laughs> I mean, it's a happy adulting, right? Because we do, as adults now, we love our little cafecito in the morning or in the winter. Yeah. Um, Billy, you drink, I think you drink coffee, but like you said, with a lot of sugar. What's yeah. a happy well, adult now? Well, well when, when it's like Christmas time, you know, when it's like, I guess the beginning of fall, I do love me a uh, hot peppermint mocha from Starbucks. Mm. Yeah, that makes me so happy. It's like joy in a cup. And then I could afford it. 
you know, I don't have to ask my parents because my parents are probably like, no, that's too much money for coffee or, yeah. you know, yeah. So I agree. Uh, coffee is part of uh, happy adulting, things that make us happy yeah. as adults. Um, but that's not all that makes us happy as adults, right? I hope not. No. <laughs> that would be sad. <laughs> I love coming home to a clean home. I mean, just for, uh, I don't clean my own home. I have somebody that comes in and cleans my house. But on a Friday, like afternoon after a long day at work to come to your house and being so nice and clean, it's a great way to start your weekend. Yeah. That, makes, that just makes me really mm -hmm. just, I, I, I can't express it. I mean, just to come and lay on your bed and everything's clean. You don't have to worry about anything. That makes me happy. Same here. I pray for those days. I have them more now that my kids are getting older and we did get a cleaning lady who comes in once a month or once, no, twice a month. Um, which I'm still, I feel a little indifferent about it, but that wasn't my choice. It was a Jason choice. Um, a clean home is great. It's, <laughs> it's the best feeling ever. It's like, okay. <clears throat> and this doesn't apply to those that have messy offices because obviously you like to work in messiness but majority of people don't like to come into work and have this chaos or like if you go into a restaurant you're not going to sit down at a table that's full of like papers and stuff like that or go to the gym and have all this chaos you want order organization like things that you can see and know where they are i mean like ugh, so beautiful organization and cleanness <laughs> <laughs> really you organize you like to you're very organized. And you like to organize things. I know that you do that a lot. You know, I'm super anal at work. I've always been, you know, like work is like your second home, right? If you come into yeah. the space <clears throat> and it's messy and if it's chaotic, I just want to turn around and go back home because I'm just like, I don't want to be here. Like my mood <laughs> changes. I just like, I don't feel as productive, right? Because yeah. now I have to like tend to other things that, as adults, we should all be working on, you know, like I shouldn't have to pick up after anybody. Right. Um, so I'm at work, I'm super anal, things are organized. There's a place for everything. Um, but at home, it's a different story. <laughs> I'm like, it's like Jekyll and Hyde. I don't even want to show you what my place looks like, <laughs> but at work, I'm super organized. <laughs> we have to be organized at work. Uh, no, I have to, I have both that way. Oh, work is very organized and clean, though. I do have one box that I have to, un, I have to empty out, but there's something beautiful about coming home and it smells good. Uh -huh. Um, everything is clean. And then the best part of my evening is when I come home and my bed is made because I took the time to make my bed in the morning. <clears throat> though I'm about to get into it. You know, when I was younger, I didn't care to make my bed. I hated making my bed. I think that's one of the few things that I could say. There aren't many things that I hated as a kid that I now enjoy because I feel like I was an adult <laughs> most of my life um, or have been an adult for most of my life. But making my bed was one of those things I hated. My mom didn't really force us to do it often. It was more like a family was coming over or like cuando le entraba, like whenever she, she felt like, no, you need to make your bed. But now as an adult, um, I make sure I make my bed every day. Like it bothers me if I walk in because let's say Jason forgot to do it or whatever. We were rushing and I come in. I'm like, oh, it's not fucking me. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tragedy. Like yes. It's horrible. It's like, oh, because <laughs> there's this weird like sense of. It's dirty. <laughs> Not even dirty. Just disorder. Just like uh, uh, for the mar. Like there's a ripple in the. Oh shit! I'm trying to do like a Marvel or spacey thing. Fuck comment. There's a ripple in the quantum world. <laughs> and Jason's gonna be probably really mad at oh, me that I'm not doing it. Right. Throws you off because you are so accustomed for your bed to be. <laughs> yes. Yes. I walked in yesterday afternoon. I'm like. <gasps> You were the last one on the bed. You didn't make it. Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, you I know when my bed is not learn. made. Say it again. <laughs> but you think they would learn, you know, but By it way. happens, you know, he just got back from a trip. So I'm being nice because I know he's tired. 
So his trip took a lot out of him. So I'm, I'm being very like patient with him. Sometimes <laughs> I get home, I'll get home in the afternoon and my bed is made. And I'm like, I made my bed this morning. I'm like, this is great. I, I, really? sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm, I, I'm a morning person, but not, I mean, I'd rather sleep in, but I have to get up early. Yeah, uh, but I guess I'm just so I'm still half asleep that I make my bed when I get home at night. I'm just like, oh my god, I made my bed. This is great. Yeah, <laughs> this is see, it feels so good. <laughs> yeah, but I do have to say because I did say he didn't make it yesterday. He does make the bed the majority of the time. He doesn't that's really good. forget. I, doesn't. I mean, if my bed is not made, it's because that's the sign that the cats were sleeping, and God forbid we, you know, mess with their space. So, oh, so you leave them sleeping in your bed? Like, let's say you yeah. go to work? Well, yeah. I leave first. And he they uh, stay sleeping with daddy. And then, you know, <clears throat> I don't know what happens after that. But I really like coming home and showering. And you're just extra clean. And your sheets are clean. And going into your bed. That, that's just a different level. I like that. that really See, but you, have, you have no kids. Like, it's hard. Like, I want... You have people that live, you don't have that many people that live uh -huh. with you. I have four other people and a dog. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. But I have to say, it has gotten better lately. Like, so I do this thing in the morning now where I wake up earlier than everybody and I come down and I'm like, oh, it's so quiet. It's so <laughs> quiet. And it's so clean. And it just makes me like, okay, the world is not chaotic. And that's, mm -hmm. I think that's part of the bed making. Like, even if you had a chaotic day, let's just say you, your morning was chaotic, but there's this beautiful thing that like, though my day was chaotic, I come to a clean bed. My room doesn't smell. There's not clothes everywhere. My house isn't crazy, but my bed is made. So I am starting my evening. Well, mm -hmm. that's why, that's why I feel so good. And I know I sound insane, but it's just these little, these little nuances that yeah. just bring me happiness. They're like diamonds. <laughs> It's still stupid, but I'm not a diamond kind of girl, as you can tell. <laughs> How about you, Billy? What makes you really happy like Betsy? She's all giddy over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my brain is fried. Getting to sleep in. I remember yeah. Saturday mornings as a kid, we <clears throat> used to wake up really early to watch. I didn't have cable, and I still don't have cable. I never had cable. But mm -hmm. we didn't, so Saturday mornings we had cartoons. I think it was like Channel 5. It was like X-Men, Spider-Man, like back to back. Mm -hmm. um, so my siblings and I, we would wake up and we'd have cereal or whatever, just so that my mom didn't wake up. So we made sure that we fed ourselves because once she woke up, that was it. Like we had to start cleaning. Saturday was cleaning day. So once she woke up, we had to get started cleaning. So we would make sure that we didn't wake her up on Saturday so that we could watch cartoons for as long as possible. But now on a Saturday, I'm not fucking waking up for no cartoons. I want to sleep. <laughs> Sleeping in. Sleeping in is like a napping, of course. Napping. napping. Yes, I was just Sleeping in, napping. Yeah, snaps. What what was the tattoo we're gonna get? Napping is life or naps are yes, life. Naps. <laughs> I don't nap. nap. Yes, I yes, don't know yes. how to nap. Napping is hard for me. It's, it's very, I have to be utterly exhausted or sick for me to nap. Like the other day I came home from work, I had a really rough day, I had a rough couple of days. I was really exhausted and I sat and I was like, I'm just going to lean my head back. I actually fell asleep sitting like this. <laughs> <laughs> so to me, that's not a nap that's more like my body gave up <laughs> it's, it's, a nap. it's not acknowledge yeah, that but... you liked the nap that you needed oh i did nap. but i yeah. i woke up and i was like oh my god where am i like it was one of these outer body like my body was just like bitch you didn't take a oh. nap nap took you yes. <laughs> i got snatched yeah. <laughs> i definitely got snatched when i tell my kids i nap they're like what's you napped? How? <laughs> How do you take a nap? And I'm like, dude, I don't. I I try. Sometimes I'll lay, and I'm like, mm, twenty minutes later, I'm like, nah, this isn't working. I don't even. I don't even try. I just like, okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a nap, and then I just sit there and I just fall asleep. I mean, it, no, you know I mean? it, naps are amazing. I I wish I could nap. 
the most I do is a fake nap. Like at work, I'll close, I have a couch. And so I'll close, I'll turn everything off and I'll close my eyes for 20 minutes, but I'm awake in my head. I'm like, duh, 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 like, okay, duh, 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 like this and that. <laughs> I can't nap. I wish I could. I yeah. just. <laughs> well, Nathy can nap like on cue, like Nathy yeah. can nap. Yeah. Her eyes will close. You know, see? Yeah. <laughs> Almost, she almost just napped, guys. Yes. <laughs> she just fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know me, I work three freaking jobs. So I'm always tired. So if I don't nap as much now because I don't have time. But if you have time, have naps are great. I suggest to take naps because you just need them. But yeah, that's part of, of what we can do as adults. And I think for me, I didn't enjoy naps when I was a kid. I, I don't think I took naps. Like, Matthew, you took naps as a kid, right? Yes. I mean, yeah. all, my whole life. I mean, I was really good at coming home, doing what I had to do, homework, everything, take a nap. I was woke, woken up to have dinner, and then I would shower and then go to go to sleep. Like, it was, like, on command on for me. And I still mm -hmm. do. I mean, I I don't even, when I take trips, I the the plane doesn't even leave the tarmac, and I'm already sleeping. They haven't even closed the plane and I just sit and I'm gone. Oh, I can't. I have to make sure we're already straight in the air. And then maybe 20 minutes later, I fall asleep. If. Yeah. If I can. Yeah. And the movies, forget it. Those are the best naps. I mean. I agree. I mean, it was yeah. like, do you want to go to the movies? And I'm like, mm, I can take a good nap. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's usually the case for me. I mean, the movie has to be like amazing for me to stay up completely, you know. But if it's a movie like more than three hours, that's just extra. You're just doing extra. I need to go to sleep for a bit and then catch up. But I envy people who can nap. My daughters are like that. They am I well? Does Jaden really nap? Jaden kind of gets taken by his naps too. He doesn't nap on command. He he more gets taken. Jason, mm -hmm. Jalise, and Beth definitely nap like there's no tomorrow and i'm like why how can i not do that that's like, you have children and when children are very quiet you know that they're up to something right yeah okay so but for they're me, not little well no when it's oh. quiet in my house it's because i probably fell asleep and i'm oh. like what is she doing <laughs> and i'm probably napping somewhere <laughs> my daughter has actually napped i have i have a six uh cedar dining room table mm -hmm. one time both of them they actually both did this napped they put the two chairs together yeah and laid on it and fell asleep <laughs> and i was wondering why it was so quiet because i was in the living room i don't know what i was doing but i come in i'm like i know one of them is here and then i'm like all i see is looks like a dead limp body over the chairs <laughs> and it's my kid passed out i'm like that has to be the most, un I, I need to be comfortable. It takes me, when I lay in bed, I have to find my spot. Like, God mm -hmm. forbid Jason tells me I need to move because I'm like, dude, do you not know how long it took me to find yeah. a spot for me to fall asleep? <laughs> if you ask me to move, I need to find, a, I'm like a dog when they're like, you know how they kind of yeah, curl yeah, yeah. around. That's me. I need to find where it fits right and then don't move me because then I have to readjust all over again. Do you have a specific um, preference in like soft or firm mattresses? Medium. Yeah. I'm more of a medium kind of person. So different or the same as you? He sleeps in the same bed as me. So whatever I sleep with, he sleeps with. Ay, ay, ay. We picked that one together. So I guess it works. <laughs> Well, is there anything else aside? Okay, so, you know, childhood is crazy. Like, our parents are always forcing us to do things or not things that we like or we don't like. Like, now that we're adults and we're well into our adulthood, you know, pushing 40 and stuff for people like me. Um, don't remind us. You know, what are things that we either hated or loved then and we don't do now or we do now that we hated, anything like that? I know for me, reading. I didn't really love reading, but I like reading now. That's one. What about you guys? A good sponge, a brand new sponge to wash my dishes. I mean, when you I see love it, my dishwasher, no, but that makes sense. 
it does it yeah. makes sense you know, i'm not gonna be like this is weird because it's not it's really not weird and it's but it's is it sad is it sad that we that the, that really? makes it happy yeah a little sad i'm sorry like i like a new sponge but i don't love a new sponge i do love a dishwasher i wish i would grew up with it well, it makes i will happy like maybe not so much the thing that we love right like you're not gonna be like like if i said okay nathy pick i don't know vacation and a sponge you're not gonna be like oh my god give me the sponge but it makes yeah. you happy more, more like happy what makes us happy right right yeah so can we yeah. officially say that this is anything everything and all things happy adulting <laughs> well, I think we said that earlier, right? Or not? We didn't. <laughs> oh, no. we didn't. So <laughs> no. All right. So we have uh, naps. We have cafecito, especially yes. Camilo. Uh, shout out to Camilo, the oh, Colombian yes. uh, coffee master, <laughs> who makes banging ass coffee. Yes, um, he does. Clean sponges. I was Reading. telling Nathy. So I just started a new job and. I am freaking excited for dental coverage. Isn't that sad? But I am excited <laughs> that I'm going to see the dentist because I love my teeth. I love my mouth. But as a kid, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I didn't like the dentist. I'm a thousand percent sure I didn't like the dentist. So, but that makes me so happy knowing that I have medical coverage. I can see the dentist. I can see the doctor. <laughs> That's pretty sad, I think. But that yeah. is what makes me happy as an adult, knowing that mm -hmm. I can see a provider, that I can, and that I want to, that I want to make yeah. sure that my body yeah. is well. I think, yeah, you know, it all matters, right? Yeah. What else? What else? What else? What else? I hated visiting people. I mean, you know, as a as a child, you know, you always dragged. Oh well, you have <clears> to be perfect. The yeah. Mom. You know, you can't do whatever you want because you're not. You're not an adult. I hated being dragged to visit people. Make doing mm -hmm. visita, what we say visita. Mm -hmm. I still hate. It. Like I go away. I don't even tell people that I'm like in Ecuador sometimes because I don't want people to be like, oh, you didn't come and visit me or whatever. I, was like, I, I have limited time, lady. I can't be yeah. visiting you. Um, but yeah, I still hate that. I don't like doing that. Well, and as an adult, you don't have to go where you don't right. want to go. And yeah, that's yeah I agree. You have an that adult. choice now. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Yeah, for me, it's one of those like, oh, I don't have to go to someone's house. I don't have to visit this person just because they're a relative or a cousin to the relative. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I definitely try not to. I like I hated to be dragged to certain places, though. I enjoyed visiting family. I think after a while, there was just certain things that I was just like, well, I don't want to go. I don't want to. Especially when you're a teenager, you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. See, for mm -hmm. me, it's also difficult because I've been in a. I feel like I've been an adult for a majority of my life. Like I said earlier, I'm the oldest granddaughter. I'm the oldest daughter. And then I had a kid young. So I've been in charge of my cousins, my sister. I've been like the go-to person forever. So for me, adulting has been like, I didn't like going to places after a while because it was like, oh, bitch, Ali's going to take care of the kids. Betsy's going to take care of the kids. And so it was like, I don't want to go because I don't want to have to take care of the kids, which I always ended up doing. So for me now, the choice of whether I go to someone's house or even pick up a phone call or answer a message right away or just exist with other people is amazing and not have guilt. Cause I think that's a very important part. Like you have that choice, but learning to say, I don't have the guilt that I don't go to these places. I'm mm -hmm. not comfortable when you take out my energy or you don't how, like, not that you need to bring me positive energy, but like, I don't feel rejuvenated when I go to your house. Then why would I want to? I don't know. I think that's one of the most amazing things about being adult. I don't like paying bills. That's that. I could go back to being a kid just for the bill paying. Sometimes. Well, yeah, and I'm having no respect. We're just happy adulting. We're not talking about the things that make us sad and make us pay <laughs> being an adult. Because there are a bunch of those too. No. We're keeping yeah. this morning things that make us happy, especially because no, we're. No, I'm just saying. We're I, I, be I think soon, so let's keep thinking about things that make us happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, I'll clean laundry. I mean, who can say hallelujah <laughs> to clean laundry? Well, like, yes. and nothing you mentioned, like clean bed sheets. Yeah. They're nice and warm, and they smell like downy or whatever fabric softener you use. It's like the best sleep. Mm-hmm. Alcohol. Different. Sorry, I just had an I had a taste of coffee and I had an ADD moment alcohol. 
Alcohol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have that as a kid. On a, on a bad day, yeah, it make you happy yeah. for sure. Yeah. Or on a good day. I like to have alcohol on a good day. Like I used to oh, be yeah. okay with on a bad day. Like, damn, I need yeah. a drink. Mm-hmm. There's something good to do it socially or if you're going out dancing with friends. Mm-hmm. It it just tastes better. It's it just different. makes it. Yeah. It's a different vibe. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had an ADD mo. I think I'm having too much coffee. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's spiced yeah. coffee. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. <clears throat> It's How not, but about, um, that section in Target, I mean, that's just for me. That's my thing. I like to go like to that two, two dollar, three dollar section in Target. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking the deals, about. The I coupons, that. the rebates, all that. Oh, yes, because I find like good goodies for like my classroom and even for the house. I love that section. It makes me happy. Sometimes I'm. Camilo sometimes just holds my hand and drags me away from that section. That, that's what makes me happy. It brings me joy. <laughs> yeah. Knowing that you I like that medicine much. for a steal. Heck yeah. yeah. A, yeah. Steal. a good sale. Girl, a good sale is the best. Yeah. The best. I love me a good sale. I love me a good sale. <laughs> I love that. Me. With Amazon, you can put things in your cart now and then you do like compare, compare items. And then now it gives you a list of other items that are similar. And I'm always mm-hmm. like, it's cheaper. Get it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, yes. I don't know how long that feature's been there, but I always make sure that I click on it. I know oh. that if, if the price goes down, they let you know. Oh. On, yes. That I've seen. Yeah. But yeah. No, I didn't know about the compare part. But you do know about price matching, right? Yes. On Amazon? No. So like I went to buy a pair of hiking boots when we went to Utah. The boots were 90 something dollars, almost a hundred. They were like 96, $99, right? Online. And then they went down to I think 80 on Amazon. So we went to the store because the, the <laughs> delivery date wasn't, it, it was too close to my travel date. And Jay was like, let's go in person because I would rather you try them on so that we know they fit you versus you waiting and then you scrambling to find boots. And I said, fine, let's go. So we went to, um, uh, I would say the name of the store wrong. A sports store. Thank you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I always, it's, I'm not going to say the name. It's the one with the dicks in it. And I always say it wrong. I say dick sporting instead of sporting dicks. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> um, and they had it higher than Amazon. So Jay was like, all right, let's see if we could price match it. And on Amazon, I told you they had it for like 80, right? The day before. Go to the st- go to the store, price match it. Jay opens up his Amazon app. It went down to $68. Girl, mm-hmm. I got these boots for $68 and I had a coupon. <laughs> it was 60 bucks, 60 something dollars. I was mm-hmm. like, this is the best. I felt amazing. I'm amazing. I saved yeah. almost $30 on boots. Ah, they're waterproof they're comfortable i didn't have to break them in they're the best deal that jason ever bought for me because i pay for it and this is a free girl map i didn't pay for it either and all i was i was thinking when you were saying like you saved 30 bucks but i'm like no because that's 30 dollars that in essence you didn't have right because in my mind well the boots were already going to be like 90 dollars, right yeah you have 30 dollars now that you can buy something else oh see no i don't think that way oh no (laughs) No, I would have been like, oh, thirty dollars that I was gonna spend anyway. Let me buy something else. No, to my outfit. I am the most frugal, cheapest human being. If I if I save thirty dollars, I'm not gonna spend the thirty dollars. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I saved thirty dollars, so I want to know that I saved thirty. Because then it doesn't help me feel better. Because I'm like, I still spent it. Now, if I needed it, and like, let's say I needed something else to go with it, then that's totally fine. But other than that, no. Mm-hmm. You can always but I'm a weird outfit. Out. <laughs> you gotta complete your outfit yeah <laughs> girl listen did we not talk about this in our last episode i hate shopping <laughs> give the three dollars to naki and she will complete the look it should oh be like God. a game show where they give you like you know how they give you specific ingredients to cook mm-hmm. it's like a mound go shopping with that mm. I, feel I feel it i'm telling you <laughs> you would right. i couldn't so whoever's <laughs> out there if you create game shows, uh, please reach out to Nathy. Please. Yes. 
I mean, well, I used to love Supermarket Sweep. Did you guys see that? Ever? I used to love that show. Yeah. yeah. My, one, I thought was, one day I would be on it, but it, it didn't outlast me. But, I mean, I outlasted it. Yeah. 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 It was a good show. Like, Ooh, to be yeah. able to... Go ahead, Betsy. Yeah. No, no. But to be able to do that in that short amount of time and make sure you're within the price point, I mean, it was great. But go ahead. What about food shopping? Good morning. The couponing show too. <laughs> yeah, I don't have time for that. That it's, it sounds like yeah. I tried it when I was on maternity leave with Beth. It's too much work. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I don't. I don't know. How I used to. I used to when I read that. <clears throat> write it in the like the front end because you had the Sunday newspaper and then the PNG. I think they used to like deliver not deliver, but they would throw like the stack of you know coupons and just like circulars. Yeah. So I would cut those out i go online and cut those out the store itself had coupons i would cut those out i was just cutting a lot <laughs> but yeah. it was great that you were just saving all this money i don't mm-hmm. have to now i don't i don't have to have it but it is amazing what you can save if you're really yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. Amazing. yeah well i like to so if i can't since i don't do couponing i kind of like the automatic stuff like bracketson where it's yeah, like oh it. so you'll get three yeah. percent back cash back mm-hmm. rebates or like on your credit card bank of america has these like um five say five percent it'll go back on your card and so they have a series of coupons in the back end of your of your of your debit card because it applies to like things you spend those are great to use or capital one has that i'm trying to think what else has that if you have an American stores. Express, yeah. When so you like you, you have, you get points. It's a little easier than having to find the coupon that goes to this to that, because sometimes the math is like not mathing, and then you're like, oh man, I need this, and this coupon only applies here if I use it here. I just I can't think that much. Yeah, so I like <laughs> automatic things. <laughs> yeah, I like Rakuten. It's great, mm-hmm. especially during the holidays. Oh, you heck get yeah. A little bit back. Yeah, for sure. That works. I wish I did more online shopping. I probably would save a lot more. But I mean, get my more. I keep saying save. Get a lot back more yeah. than I do. Yeah. Do you know? Rackets in. <laughs> it's a good one. We're not sponsored by them, but I think I no, guess we're not sponsored by anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If anybody wants- I want the code, I will gladly share the friend code because I think yes. they give us. <laughs> I'm all about sharing a code so I can get some money back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Actually talking about that, I got to talk to ClassPass because I've shared my code with a bunch of friends to use ClassPass. For those of you who don't know what ClassPass is, it's a, it's a, it's like a membership. Think of like a punching. No, uh, uh. It's like a membership to multiple studios, gyms. You can do also your hair, massages, nails. Uh, you buy it. Like a platter of you get to try a little bit of everything, right? Because that's yes, you- yeah. So you get to like try a little bit of everything. So you buy a certain number of credits because that's how it's used. And so <clears throat> a service could be twenty credits or ten credits or so on and so forth. And they have a pr- different price range. And I use it for the gym mostly, um, because I, as I was told, I am a gym. No, not a gym whore. I was a studio whore because I couldn't commit to one studio. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I go to like a Pilates studio, a, a yoga one. I, I go to many places. I'm like, listen, my ADD doesn't allow me to commit. I have a commitment issue to studios. Mm-hmm. So I was called a studio whore, um, which I'm very proud to say that I am. So I was running out of uh, time to use my credits and I was going to lose 30 credits. 30 credits is a lot of money. Yeah. So it's like, 50 bucks, I think, maybe ish. I went and did a massage. Perfect. But I share my points with people and I'm supposed to get $30 back or up to 300 and I have yet to get it. So I got to um, talk to them about this. I want my money. I, I mean, money. speaking of class pass, a good workout. That makes oh. me happy. Like, a oh, good- yeah. Yeah, a good workout. Yeah, a good like trainer, like mm-hmm. not just a good like if if you're intimidated by like what to, equipment to use. I know for me, going to the gym is a little hard to like figure out what machine to use, how to use it, not ask questions. A good trainer, good like uh, instructor is great. Ugh, so good, love it. I like a good workout, like a good stretch. Even a stretch, like when you're done with a workout and you get a good stretch and you feel brand new. Listen, 
we we are up there in age. We should not be getting up and just going about our day. You should stretch. Yeah, you should stretch for sure. Our bodies are tightening. We work, whether we work in a in a physical format, like moving around a lot or labor intensive or sitting down. We are supposed to be moving. I recommend the first thing you do after you shower, you bathe, or I mean you brush your teeth or whatever or before that, just do a quick five minute stretch. Not even three, just arms up, you know wiggle a little bit get that body moving because we stiffening up so a good workout let's i love get that a foam roller the best purchase you can make is a foam roller and if it has ridges on it it's gonna hurt but sometimes pain is good <laughs> yeah. so it's worth it get the get the foam roller with the ridges on it you're gonna feel brand new after yeah. you get on it and roll a little bit the best thing on a foam roller is if you do it in your mid back and you just lay back, it's like a chest opener. Oh, amazing. Amazing. You couldn't pay me to work out as a kid. I'd be like, what? I could, I could run for fun, but to exercise, like if you labeled it as exercising, no, nah. but I was a tomboy. So I don't know. Maybe I'm contradicting myself. I played around a lot, but I didn't exercise like, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, structurally. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I enjoy sports and I still do. Like my family, mm-hmm. we've always played volleyball and soccer, mm-hmm. kickball. Um, yeah, but I do enjoy exercising. My mom used to be like, why are you going to the gym? You're skinny. And I'm like, happy hormones, mom. Especially mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not having sex, so I need something. Give me something. <laughs> I mean, I don't go to the gym now, but I go running. And running, yeah. is, just, running is just so therapeutic for me. I it just makes such a difference energy mm-hmm. level like feelings level everything 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 i should have ran this morning i did not run this morning huh i thought you ran this morning no i wish no i was uh i didn't sleep well i really should have gone but i was like i didn't sleep well so i was like i don't know i don't want to hate myself being out there yeah and then like oh i hate i hate myself right now mm-hmm. so i didn't want to do that to you myself listen to your body that's why yeah, you have to listen yeah. to your body like you said you only are on three hours of sleep so i think you would have probably pushed yourself too much it's yeah. different if you get a full night's rest or a majority I mean, night's rest but if you're not getting the rest you don't want to put your body into overexertion like that's not something that you think of as a kid or growing up because at that young age, you're always like, go, 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 go. And now it's like, you have to be a lot more mindful of like, what am I doing? What am I feeling? How am I feeling? And what do I want to do to make myself feel better? So you ha- it's you shouldn't feel, force yourself to do something because that's something you normally do when you're already exhausted or feeling shitty. Be gentle. Yeah, no, I was like, I could go for a run because I, I woke up earlier than I had wanted to. But then mm. I was like, I mean, you're going to go out there and you're going to hate yourself and you're going to want to come back. Usually, like, yeah. I go out there and I'm like, oh, I can keep going. But then, like, I also want to come back at a certain time. Uh, but I was like, today, I, I'm pretty sure within one mile I'm going to hate myself. So I was like, I'm not doing it. But I do want to go for a run later. So yes. definitely okay. going to put that in today. I mean, I have a half marathon coming up. So uh, I got to start getting these legs moving. Yeah. Take a nap before, though. You go on your run. I feel like I'm still fucking wired. Like, freaking Celsius, <laughs> man. I had that shit at 5 p.m. yesterday. I didn't go mm-hmm. to bed until 5 in the morning. And right now, I'm still like, like, I, I know I'm tired. But uh, can I fall asleep right now? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Look at my eyes. I'm like, I'm like, fucking drugs right now. <laughs> That's the drink I gave your friend. So I, yes. I don't sponsor I don't sponsor Celsius. I used to drink it when I was going through a very, very, very crazy time at work, like where it required all of my brain power. And honestly, I don't know what crackheads feel like when they kind of like not a crackhead, but like the the, the people who drink, you know, when they sniff Coke and like, Mm. have you seen in movies when they sniff Coke and they're like, ah, like they go like that. It is the closest feeling to what I think that would be. Mm-hmm. because based on what I see on TV, so like, oh, you know, you sniff and you're like, oh yeah, I'm awake and moving around. That is what visually that I thought would feel 
would do to me. I would drink a Celsius and I could go hard body on work. Bah, come home, do this, do that. And then I saw, I was like, yo, this shit, this shit can't be good for you. There's no reason that I am still this wired at this time of day after I drank it in the morning. Then I started getting like articles about like how bad it is, you know, how much strain you're doing to your heart. And I was like, nah, I can't do this. But I do like, I was like, James was like, so how can you give this to somebody who's running a marathon? I'm like, she's fucking running a marathon. Like, the bitch needs the energy. She mm-hmm. about to burn it off anyway. So, like, halfway through the point, the Celsius kind of does come in to help there, at least a little bit, a couple sips to kind of push her through. I said, but on a regular, like, just Joe Schmo kind of date, nah. No. Nah. My nah. friend loved you for it. See, like, for me, I had it at 5 o'clock. It kicked in at, like, 1 in the morning. I'm like, uh, I needed to be awake five hours ago, not right now. And that specifically ends up happening with coffee, with Red Bull. It doesn't kick in right away. But for my friend that day, because she took a sip, I was like, mm, I'm not fucking with that. I had the nerve yeah. thing for that. She was just like, oh, my God, that was so great. She doesn't drink it. But I see, like, on my social media, I see other people drinking those energy drinks. And they drink it every day. So I'm like, oh, it can't be that bad for you. Uh, fuck, yeah. For me, I mm-mm. caffeine is just like. To, yeah, Look, I'm, I'm, I need help. I'm like, this out of my system. He's going to by, by like five o'clock, I'm still like, <laughs> um, I'm going to the ER. <laughs> I mean, like, so I have like some of this, you know, what is this? Hydration, like, hydration, like, yeah, yeah, electrolytes. I mean, I don't even know if this is good either. But <laughs> anything else, not again, Nathy, I think we interrupted you earlier. You said you mm-hmm. thought of something else. Did you? You still remember what oh, it was? Yes, making uh, cashless lines. Like you don't have to pay, make the line, you know, you just go poop. Mm. I like that. Self checkout, you mean? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Self checkout or cashless line when they go, do you have a card? Yes. Here, yes. me. Yes. When I can skip a line, uh-huh. amazing. <laughs> amazing. Uh, I love it. I love every second of it when, like, you're like, I don't need to. There's this one thing when I'm in highways and I can find a shortcut, like just making things faster and easier, like a cashless line or a short line. Uh, it's like I win and yeah. I feel like I gain back time. That's mm-hmm. my girl math. How can I shorten something and not have to deal with it? It's Beating GPS is my thing. That makes me happy. Like I said, okay, you're going to get to work and like, at 7.20. No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Trust me. I don't. <laughs> Natty's like, I made it at 7.19, bitch. <laughs> that makes me so happy. What, what, is, what is the uh, the best timing that you've gained? Like that you've. Like five minutes. Five minutes Damn. is five minutes, girl. Yo, yeah. that's fast. How yeah. fast you going? Really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be if you're in, if you're in the Washington Heights area, please don't be <laughs> don't be in the morning because Nathy will run you over. Well, no, Nathie. you take you take the George Washington and then the Henry Hudson, right? No, the Harlem River Drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the, in the mornings and then coming home, sometimes it sends me through the Harlem River Drive or it sends me through the West Side Highway. And then into the George Washington. It just really depends. Even sometimes it sends me local. So I have so many ways to get home and so many ways to get to work. Uh, but I'm always Got trying to, be, to beat the GPS. And GPS. I nine out of 10 times, I beat the GPS. Mm, mm, That's my goal mm. every day. <laughs> so guys, you know that GIF where there's a driver like looking like a fucking crazy maniac? That's Nathy. Yes. That's probably mm-hmm. a quick snippet of Nathy. <laughs> I'm the one that will cut you off. Like everyone's making the line, and I'll be like, Broop. I go in there. I was like, Yeah, thanks for letting me through. We hate those people. I know. Sometimes I'm like, Yo, I'm gonna fucking hit you with my car. If, if I could hit somebody with another car with my car because they're an asshole, but not have the, uh, I could do like a bumper car thing, like, mm-hmm. you know, and not have my car get totaled to have to do, I would do it because sometimes some people deserve that shit. Like, yo, Como un cocotazo. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> a car cocotazo. 
Be careful, Nathy. Someone's after you. I know. I'm like, somebody that has worse road rage than me is going to get me one day. Yeah, just don't get out the car. Yeah, I probably won't. I'll get a new don't. car, though. So <laughs> it should be fine. <laughs> I can't wait. I don't know. Funny. I mean, watching these videos that of people in road yeah. rage, I mean, that's a whole different topic. Uh, oh, but, yeah. Yeah, just be careful out there, Nathy. I'll try, but people get in my way. Like I gotta get, I got places. <laughs> She's like, it's not my fault. Got- it's their fault. It's their fault. <laughs> how does Camilo? How does Camilo drive? Like, sit in the car with you? Like, does he feel like, like that? Like holding he on for dear life? Hold on for dear life. Um, okay. Not as much. Um, if I have to drive at night sometimes, because I'm driving my car and we're coming home, let's say from like my mom's house, which takes us about an hour to get home. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he won't sleep just to make sure that I'm like, you know, not being crazy on the road. But so he doesn't. He can't. That's yeah. bad. If he can't fall asleep, that means he, his ass don't. He has to be extremely like, like, like you said, dead. Like I can't with my my life or my body. That's uh-huh. what I mean. other than that, he'll just stay up just to watch me. He's like, I want to know that the impact is coming. <laughs> I'm like, but have you died? No, you're fine. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> now talking about driving, that is one of the best things of being an adult. To drive. Having a car. I yeah. I remember the first time I drove alone. I did like, I was doing like a um, soccer mom day. I had put, I think I had dropped off a kid at karate dance and then I had to go pick another one up at chess. And Jay... I don't know where Jason was. He was either working or he was with one of the kids, probably at karate because karate and and dance were near each other. So he was going to shuttle those two. And it was this amazing feeling of saying, oh, my God, I don't need to ask anyone to take me anywhere. I don't need to wait for anyone to do anything for me. It was this sense of freedom and independence that it is so amazing. And then. There's also the beautiful part of like, if I want to fucking go away, or I want to go take myself out to dinner, or I don't know, you motherfuckers are driving me insane. I'm going to go camp for three days in the woods by myself without y'all. Bye. I'll take the second car so I don't inconvenience anybody. And I can just drive. I can drive without having to worry about anyone driving me around. I just don't <laughs> know how more people don't do it. I, you know, as a kid, you can't just walk away. You can't just, you know, do all these things. So I think driving to me is one of the most beautiful things about being an adult. Like but I can drive. Driving and then finding parking? Well, I don't, I, everywhere I go, <laughs> see, I always make sure that where I go has parking. Okay. Mm-hmm. That I can find parking to a certain, it's one of the reasons I hate driving into the city or having to go into the city. I would much rather pay. And I have to calculate, like, if I'm going to go out and we're going to spend however much on eating, then more than likely I have to also incorporate, um, excuse me, a a parking lot because I don't want to think about it. I don't want to have to worry about that some dumbass in the city is going to fucking hit my car Mm -hmm. Um, or that, I don't know, we'll get a ticket because I remember one time we got a ticket because we didn't read the sign right. And it had like this after midnight, they had cleaning rules and we missed it Mm -hmm. and got like a hundred dollar ticket, whatever. But, um, yeah, like, I hate driving into the city. If I don't have to, everywhere I go has to have some form of parking. So, mm-hmm. I yeah, drive I a lot into the city, but when I find parking, I'm winning for sure. <laughs> you feel like you saved a dollar. Yeah, I mean, just finding parking in the city alone is, is a nightmare. But, I, yeah. I mean, I, I'm always driving into the city, so... and. I rarely have to park my car in a garage. So that makes me really happy when I find parking. Mm. That's why yeah. for me, like, if I had a kid, I think I would definitely get a car because it just makes things easier. But I don't have a kid. Yeah. I just have me. Like, if I'm going somewhere and it's late, I'll take an Uber now or I'll take the train somewhere. But parking around my way is a fucking bitch. Like, parking sucks ass around here. Like, you have to park, yeah. I was told, at, like, 6 o'clock, between, like, 6 and 7. If you don't park between, like, 6 and 7, you're, you're ass out. So um, I can't, I'm never home at that time. Like I just, for me, uh, I mean, I would love to get a car like Betsy said, so I could just get in and go, go on a hike somewhere. Or yeah, just, you know, go far yeah. away where it's hard. Like it's not accessible by, you know, by the train. 
But for me, I think about the headache that parking is gonna like give me, and I'm just like, I'd rather just I'd rather just not deal with it. I will say, when we lived in the Bronx, I hated having a car. I enjoyed the driving the car, but I hated the parking part because mm. we lived by Yankee Stadium, so it's the Bronx, so parking is already limited. One add in that if there was a game, oh, oh, or some type of activity or concert at the stadium. I hate it every second. It would take us three hours sometimes to just find a spot. Wow. I would pray that they would lose <laughs> so that they, they could end the season early. I was like, let them get canceled out <laughs> because I need parking. <laughs> Yankees, if you're listening uh, in 2019 when you lost. <laughs> it was 2017. Prior, prior to 2017, <laughs> Betsy was praying that your ass was lost. So between 20... <laughs> <laughs> Between 2013 and 2017, I prayed a lot. I prayed that y'all motherfuckers lost all the fucking time. I would pray that y'all just get discontinued. <laughs> it was not them the way that they were playing. It was because you were you were praying that they lost. Nothing to yeah. do with how they were, how they were as no. players. <laughs> I didn't care. I just care that I wanted my I wanted my parking spots again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, wow. I think for me, that's all I can think of. Like I said, adult, you know, being a kid for me was not, I think I'm enjoying being a kid like or kid like now more than ever, because I have that ability. My kids are getting older. So I'm not I don't have as much responsibilities as I used to. So that's interesting. But um, that's my way of happy adulting, happy adulting with like this kid mindset and kind of being fun. That's my, my wrap up of today. Anything for you, ladies? Just being free and doing whatever you want, right? Yeah. Bottom line. Even though, you know, those little things that may not bring joy to other people or as a child, mm -hmm. brings joy to us as adults, brightens our day a little bit. Yeah. Bye, you know, I think it's more about appreciation, right? That About the things when we were little that we maybe not necessarily took for granted, but I think we just didn't see it as these are important things in our lives, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, so now a lot of things that we do for ourselves that make us happy, that brings a smile to our face are things that are good for us. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think, and like Betsy said, they always, you know, uh, reaching into that child and not losing, you know, the child in us. Cause that's also important. Yeah. All of that. For so re reconnecting with it if you lost it or don't know reconnecting i'm working through trying to reconnect like being silly i don't know how to be silly in front of people unless it's very rare that i can be like utterly silly and not worry about feeling stupid or looking stupid like yesterday i went ice skating and it's so much fun like i literally feel a kid at heart like i love it so it's in it's going doing things that make you happy and if they brought you happiness as a kid, bring it back. Like, so you haven't done it in a long time. Now, I will say there's one thing because I kept reading like things that people don't do. There was this one that kids don't like to bathe. I never was that kid. Yeah. But no, no. if you don't like to bathe, don't bring that shit back. <laughs> we as society have to fucking deal with you at the gym, at work. If you stink, go take a fucking shower. Yes, please. <laughs> Put some deodorant on and go <laughs> shower. Please and thank you. Fully <laughs> gone. Listen, showers are amazing. I yes. love me a good shower. Mm -hmm. I don't know how people don't do it, but okay. That's my last takeaway. <laughs> shower, nap, drink coffee, repeat. <laughs> yes. Let us know in your, the comments what makes you guys happy, what brings you guys joy, mm -hmm. what have you brought into your adulthood that you did as a child. Don't forget and what are you going to start doing? Yes. Yeah. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our Spotify account. Leave a review. You can give us stars. You can make comments both on either Facebook, I mean, on Spotify or YouTube or both. Uh, we'd love to hear back from you. All right, guys. Bye. Until next time. Happy adulting. <laughs>